Uh, hi, physics. Here we are. Physics 2. Here we are, uh, chapter 35, homework number 4, and this is problem number 3. Uh, so we've got this interesting circuit set up. I've got three batteries, and I've got three resistors. And the thing we're trying to figure out is what is the current and direction of the current going through each resistor. So first thing we need to do is name the currents that we have going on here. So I'm going to say the current leaving this guy right here, I'm going to call this one I1. So I1 going through R1, and it's still I1 up to this point. Sorry, I1. Uh, and then from here, I'm going to say that it's called I2, going down this way through resistor R2 and through battery V2. And then this last current, the one that's going here, going through these guys, uh, let me not do that. Whoop. The current going like this. Uh, and this current, I could call it R3. There's a way to do this problem if you call it R3. But I'm going to invoke uh, Kirchhoff's current law. And I'm going to say that if I had I1 coming into this juncture here, and then it's split into I2 going down, uh, then the part that continues on going to the right is going to have to be equal to I1 minus I2. That way I can avoid inventing an extra variable uh, called I3, and I'm going to need one fewer equation to figure out everything that's going on. Uh, you could do it by naming it I3, I just think it takes a little longer that way. So I'm going to do it this way. Uh, and then just to complete this, let's see, at this juncture down here, I1 minus I2 meets up with I2 again, so we have I1 going through like this. So now the next thing we need to do is name our loops. And again, you've got to come up with a style that works for you. Uh, I'm going to recommend uh, that you always start at the lower left. Draw a loop like this. Draw it clockwise. Uh, and just do all of your loops that way. So I've got loop A doing that. In this other part of the circuit, I've got loop B doing this. So now I need to turn these guys, uh, I need to invoke Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL, and turn these guys into a couple of different equations. So let's see, KVL for loop A. I'm just going to write right over this guy. Uh, if I start at that lower left and I go through that battery V1, uh, I'm going negative to positive through V1, which means that's going to be a gain. So that's going to give me V1. Uh, the next thing that happens is I go with current 1, so with I1 through R1, so that's going to be a drop. So minus R1, I1. Uh, and then I go a little bit forward, I make a right turn, and now I'm going down with current I2 through resistor R2. So I'm going with that current through that resistor, that is also going to be a drop. So minus R2 times I2 this time. Then I'm going through battery V2, and this time I'm going positive to negative. So this will also be a drop. So minus V2. Uh, and then I just go back, so nothing happens in that bottom part of the circuit there, bottom part of the loop there. Uh, and so that's going to end up being zero. So now I put in my numbers. So let's see, V1, 10 volts. So I'll just call that 10 minus R1, which is 5 ohms, times I1, minus R2, which is 15 ohms, times I2, uh, minus V2. Again, that was a drop, because we went positive to negative through that one, so minus 20. So now I have an equation here. Uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Let's turn this into minus 5I1 minus 15I2, uh, and I had minus 10 on the left side, so that's going to become plus 10 on the right side. Uh, and then I can simplify this a little bit more. Everything divides nicely by 5. Uh, in this case, I'm going to divide everything by negative 5, and that's going to give me my first equation. I1 plus 3I2 is equal to minus 2. 
So I'll circle this. This is going to be important. Uh, moving on. Let's see. Let's do loop B uh, in green here. So for loop B, I think this is going to be the trickier one. So what do we have? We're starting at the bottom left. Uh, we're going through V2. Uh, we're going negative to positive, which means V2 is going to be a gain. So V2. Uh, and then we go through R2, but we're going against current I2. Um, so we're going through a resistor against the current. So this is actually also a gain. So this one ends up being plus R2, I2. Uh, and then along the top, we're going through R3, and we're going with that uh, current, I1 minus I2. So this will be a drop. So minus R3, <coughs> excuse me, uh, minus R3 times the quantity, I1 minus I2. And then we go through battery V3, but we're going positive terminal to negative terminal. So this one's a drop. So minus V3. Uh, and all this is equal to 0. So now we put in our numbers. V2 is 20. Uh, plus R2, I2. So R2 is uh, 25. I'm sorry, R2 is 15. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. R2 is 15. Uh, plus 15, I2. Sorry, that's an I. Uh, minus R3, so this is the 25. Times this quantity, I1 minus I2. And then minus V3, which is 30. And all of this is equal to 0. Uh, so let's do our algebra kind of carefully. Uh, 20 plus 15, that 5 should look like a 5, plus 15 I2, uh, minus 25 I1, and then minus 25 times negative I2 is going to give me plus 25 I2 minus 30. All of this is equal to 0. Uh, so the next thing, all right, let's deal with the voltages first. Uh, 20 minus 30. So I had minus 10 on the right. That's going to end up being plus 10 on the left. So I've got that. Uh, and let me put these guys in the right order. So I'm going to have minus 25 I1. And then 15 I2 plus 25 I2 is going to give me plus 40 I2. Uh, and then let me just divide everything, let's see, by negative 5, just to simplify this a little bit, and that's going to give me 5, oops, that looks sloppy, 5 I1 minus 8 I2 is equal to minus 2. So there's my second equation. Uh, so now I have a system of equations. I have two equations and I have two unknowns, which means I'm going to be able to do this. So what color do we want? Let's go with, uh, we'll go with black. So I'm going to take my two equations. Uh, let me just look, how did I do this before? Okay. Actually, the easiest way to do this, uh, even though I simplified my equation for loop A, let me just go back to this version right here. So the two equations we're going to have are going to be minus 5I1 minus 15I2. This is equal to 10. And then for loop B, I had 5I1 minus 8I2 is equal to minus 2. So if I add these two equations together, uh, the first thing goes away, and then I'm going to end up with minus 23i2, and this is equal to 8. So then the last thing to do is divide both sides by minus uh, 23, and I'm going to end up with i2 is equal to 
minus 0. Point, let me keep a bunch of extra digits. 3, 4, 7, 8, 3. Amps. So here's one of my currents. Uh, and then I've just got to sub this back in into either one of these things. So which one did I use? Yeah, then just to be weird, I actually ended up using uh, this version right here. So that gave me I1 plus 3 times I2. Well, I2, I just figured out, is minus 0 0.34783 amps. This is equal to minus 2. Uh, and if you do all that, you're going to end up with I1 is equal to minus 1 point, oh, I'm sorry, looking at the wrong line there, minus 0 0.95652 amps. Oh, and I forgot to write the minus. So it's minus that. So I have that. Uh, and then the last thing I need is, I'm also going to need I1 minus I2. Because remember, this is the current that I had going through uh, R3. So if you do that stuff, I1 minus I2, you're going to get minus 0 0.60869 amps. Uh, so it may seem a little bit weird that I ended up with negative currents. I've got to interpret what does that actually mean. Uh, all that really means is that I got my signs backwards um, when I drew my currents. So if I'm actually writing out my answers, and unfortunately I don't really have much room to write out my answers, uh, I'll find a way. First let me pick a new color. Yeah, we'll go with red. Um, so what that actually means is the current through R1, uh, I drew it going left to right. It's actually going to be right to left. So the current through R1 yeah, I wish I had more room. The current through R1 is, uh, well that was just I1. Um, but instead of writing minus 0 0.95652, I'm going to write 0 0.95652 0 .95 amps. Um, and again, I drew it going left to right. It's actually going right to left. So instead of being negative left to right, it's actually positive right to left. Uh, and I'm going to cut it off there because I'm about out of time and I'm definitely out of room. I don't really want to start another page on this. Um, but yeah, R1 is that amount, 0 0.95652 amps, uh, and it's going right to left. Uh, what do I have going through R2? Well, that was I2. So I, ended, I drew I2 going down and I got a negative number for that. What that really means is the current going through R2 is actually 0 0.34783 amps uh, going bottom to top. So that one's actually going up through the circuit. Uh, and then the last one, going through R3, is I have I1 minus I2, and I drew that one left to right, and I got a negative number. That means the actual current is going right to left. So the current going through R3 uh, is not negative 0 0.6 whatever, whatever amps. It's actually positive 0 0.60869 amps. So hopefully that is